May 11, 1998, when the ground shook in Pokhara and awakened the world to see emergence of a new India. It was beginning of a new era, which is marked with Red Letter Day in the history of India. Operation Shakti took the world by surprise and gave Shakti to India. Here, a significant credit goes to Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam, who had dreamt and made India a self-reliant, strong nation. Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam, coming from a humble beginning with early schooling in Rameshwaram, reached to the highest seat of the country, the President of India. In the first phase of his career, Dr. Kalam joined ADE at Bangalore as a senior scientific assistant in 1958 and designed the first hovercraft before joining ISRO. In his two decades association with ISRO till 1982, Dr. Kalam turned into a successful space scientist. The second phase of his career started with joining the Defense Research and Development Organization, DRDO, in 1982. Under his leadership, India has been able to develop strategic missiles like Agni and Prithvi and tactical missiles like Nag, Akash and Trishul. Dr. Kalam served as the principal scientific advisor to the government of India in the rank of cabinet minister from November 1999 to November 2001. His fourth phase took a sudden turn when he became the president of India on 25th July 2002. Dr. Kalam also brought a spirit of dedicated service and inspirational zeal to this highest office, which earned him the title of the People's President. Recognition and respect for his many achievements came through a number of awards that include the Padma Bhushan, the Padma Vibhushan and the Bharat Ratna Awards. The man who had a very humble beginning and started his career from shores of Rameshwaram who believed in both Quran and Gita, who daily offered namaz and played veena, continues to live in the heart and minds of every Indian.